Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna be adding a Splash screen to our React Native app. So a Splash screen is that screen that you saw first before the app completely loaded. So this, so this can be helpful if we want to first check the authentication state, which is always asynchronous, so that we load this screen only when we are sure that the user is not logged in, or we load the home screens when we are sure that the user has logged in. So if you have been running our app, you notice that now, every time you open it, and it's the first time, you're going to see a white screen until this screen loads. So that's because at that point in time, the whole React Native code has not been loaded fully. So we have to wait and that's why we see that white background. But now if we implement the splash screen, we are going to be able to only show this screen when we are sure that the app has loaded completely. So we are going to be doing it on Android and also on iOS. Now we are going to start with the Android. So I'm going to be showing you a few things to do it on Android. For example, how to add a custom status bar color how to add the image, how to generate the corresponding images for the different devices. So it's going to be interesting. Now we are going to be doing it mostly using native code and of course we are going to be connecting our JavaScript somehow. But then for us to be able to do that, we are going to be using this splash screen here that's provided by this library called React Native Splash Screen. So let's go ahead and get started with the Android. Okay, yeah, so I'm here in our app, the one we are building. So I'm going to close it and then I'm going to open it again. So when I click on it, you see this screen here. That is the one we want to get rid of. That white screen that shows before we get to this screen. So what we want to do is come over here and install this library, React Native Splash Screen. So we're going to start by doing a yarn add. Okay. So another thing, we are going to need to prepare the assets or this logo that we're going to be putting on that on, on the splash screen. Now I want to introduce you to this website here called Image Baking. So we are going to need to have to specify the the image that can fit well on on devices with different dimensions. So this website here can allow us to create those different image variations. So I'm going to come to this website and then I'm going to go and bring in my logo. So I'm going to drag it and drop it inside this website, and then it's going to let me, it's going to tell me that now the stuff are cooked. I can download. So now I can download for iOS, so I'm going to click download and then it's going to download this zip file. So once you get the zip file, we can open it, then it's going to unzip. So here in REST, you notice that we have all these drawable folders. So these are the ones we want to move to our Android resource directory. So I'm going to go to, let me remove the site. So we can go to our Android, then app, then source, main resources. So we want to now bring these drawable folders inside these resources. So I'm going to copy all of them and then I'm going to bring it up to here. Okay, so what that will do is it's going to go ahead and create these drawable folders with these different dimensions. And then in there, each of them has our image, but it is optimized for that dimension. So now that we have our assets there, so the next thing you're going to need to do is create a layout file that our splash screen is going to use. Now I'm going to open up Android Studio here because it makes things easy to create those kinds of layouts. So once we have Android Studio open, let's check where our application is. If we do pwd, you see that it's on desktop, then it's called RN Contacts. So now we need to open this project in Android Studio. So in Android Studio, we can click open existing project, then we click on desktop, then we want to find our own. Okay, so here it is, then we want to click on Android, and then we'll open this. So once that's done, then you can create a layout file in here. So we can say new Android resource file. Then for the type, it's going to be a layout. So click layout. So let's call it splash layout dot XML. So you don't need to put XML there because it knows it's a layout file. Then for the root, let's use a, rel a relative layout because we can quickly manipulate it. So click, choose relative layout in there and then go ahead and click OK. So that's gonna create the folder and then the, the folder layout and then the splash screen. So here, this is where I want to link our image. Now we can use an image view here. So I'm gonna use an image view and then for the height and width, here you can have some custom dimensions. So for now I'm gonna use match parent and then match parent because our the logo is transparent then I can close it, but you can be able to specify uh, different dimensions like 50 dp, 100 dp. You can customize it to whatever you wanna. 
So now that we have this image view, we need to specify the source. So the source is going to be where the image is. So ours is in drawable, then it's called logo transparent. Okay, so add that. Then for it to be able to, to scale very well, you want to add a scale type. So put a scale type attribute and then ours is gonna be center crop. Okay, so now that we have this, by the way, if you want to see the design, you can click on design and then you see how it's going to look. So at this point in time, you can, of course, edit it. You can say this is going to be 60 dp. Then this is this should be 60 dp. And then maybe you can say, okay, center horizontal. So all those, if we come back over here, let's, let's go back to the code. Then let's add some, so you can say center in vertical, true. Then you say center horizontal, center horizontal, true. And now if you come back to the design, you can see that it's in the center. Let's increase the size, let's say 200. Okay, well not 600, but 200. I said that is small enough. Let's increase it to 300. So you can play with this to make sure it matches what you want. So now that we have this, the next thing we're going to need to do is to tell Android to render this screen first. So we're gonna go to our Java file and then we'll be looking for and then we'll be looking for the main activity so here in the main activity we need to override on create so on create so if you're not familiar with android this is like a life cycle hook that gets called when the app basically launches so you can think of it as a component did mount but for the native code <laughs> okay anyways so here before we return on create we want to now show our splash screen so here we can say splash screen and it's gonna go ahead and import for you there if you have Android Studio. If it doesn't import, make sure you import this like this. Then you want to call show and then this show takes in the current the activity. So we want to pass this. Okay, so now that we have this, we need a way to tell our React Native app to hide our splash screen when we are done loading everything we need to load on the initial app render. So we're gonna go to our navigations, which is where our which is like our app entry, entry point. So I'm gonna go to navigations. Then I will go to index, of course. Then here I'm going to have a use effect. Okay. So for this use effect, you're going to check if the app has fully, lo fully loaded. So we can check for auth loaded. So yeah, we can have if auth loaded, then we can hide the splash screen. So now we can say splash screen dot hide okay so this is going to just add the splash the auth loaded here in the dependencies make sure we are importing use effect then this is going to add an import for the splash screen so go ahead and save this by the way i just noticed that we didn't name our layout properly so we need to name it launch screen dot xml and not splash screen so i'm gonna come over here and choose refactor so refactor then rename then I'm gonna change this to launch screen launch screen with XML like this it's gonna tell you that it exists but go ahead and uh, and replace it then I'm going to now rerun back the project okay so it's gonna install and now that it's done you notice that now it comes and it it is it has the splash screen and then it goes away and then this shows but now one of the first thing you will notice that we might not want to do is to have the black shade so to remove the black shade i'm going to go to our layout which is the which is here then now we can go to our code again and in here we can specify a background color so i'm going to have background so we need a color here so we're going to be using a white color so you could come over here and add white like this and then if you run it again it's going to go ahead and uh, build install and now when it's done, you notice that the background is, is white. When it's loading now, note that the status bar color is not what we would want it to be. So this is black. So we want to now create a custom style that we can tell our app to use as the theme for this screen. So I'm going to go back to Android Studio. And what we want to do is I'm going to first create some colors here. So in here, I'm going to create some colors. So I'm going to create a new Android resource file then i'm gonna call it colors so then it's gonna be it's gonna give it colors.xml so inside here we can define our color strings 
so the way you define a color string is you want to do color then you give it a name so i'm going to have a white one because you're going to need to replace the other white then in here you can specify the value so it's it's white like that then i'm going to also have a status bar color that we can use so here we can have another color you can even call it status bar status bar color so in here we can have a color now i'm going to have a white one but depending on your app needs you can change it to what your app requires so now this is white so now that we have the colors defined, then we want to create a style. So if you go here, you notice that we have some styles that are already created. So we're going to go in here and create another style, the one that our splash screen is going to use. So here we can have style and we need to give it a name. So the name can be custom. So this one, we're going to call it splash screen theme. So we want it to inherit everything that our current splash screen has. And then we are going to be overriding some things. So we can, so we can specify the parent. So the parent is going to be splash screen, then splash screen, this one here. Okay, so now that we have that, then we can specify the color that it should use here. So apparently it uses a color that is specified as the primary dark. So we want to override that. So over here we can specify an item, then we want a color primary dark. Then we want to now go ahead and set our own color. So now we can say colors dot maybe status bar color, like this. Now that we have this, then we need to tell our our screen to use this for our splash screen. So we can go to our main activity where we have the show. Then as the second parameter, we can pass in the theme. So we can pass in the theme. Since the theme is specified in the styles, then we can do r.styles. Then you guys already know our theme. So our theme, we call this splash theme. This is the one we created. Okay, so now that we have that, then we can go ahead and rerun our application. And now that it's done, notice that the status bar color is white, which is what we wanted to do until this comes in. But you can change it to any, you can change it to anything. You can even change it to this current color here. But now the game is in your hands. You guys can go ahead and you change it inside colors. Then you refer to it here. Okay, so that's gonna do it for now. I hope you learned a little something. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.